Hello everyone, this is part six of the beginner's lessons. Uh, and I want to do, you'll see on your right, uh, two pieces, the cuckoo and again, three blind mice. And you'll see that they are duets. You'll see, if you look at the first one, you'll see that the there are two staves bracketed together. Now, if you're playing the top line, if you're the first line, you go along the first line, and then when you get to the end of that, you go to bar nine and go along the upper line again, because the second line is the second part of the duet. And if you're playing that, you go along the second line, the lower bracketed one, and then at bar nine, you go along the bottom line again. Now I'm going to look at the top line. We haven't played this piece before, but it doesn't use any new notes. <clears throat> so I'll play, uh, I'll play four bars. Now, I've only gone as far as that because I want you to look at those squiggly things that look like a bird flying sideways. Those are one count rest. So it goes coo, coo, rest, coo, coo. Rest. One, two, rest. In bar four, a two count note and a one count rest. But the three in a bar marches on. You'll see at the beginning it says three over four, three quarter notes or crotchets or crotchet rests in each bar. So I'm going to play this through. I'll play it through so that you can add the second part to my top part if you wish. Uh, but I don't need to see any, say any more about it because you've done all these notes before. One, two, three. Now, when we come to play the, the second part of this duet, it uses the lower notes, the notes below G, where you have to use your right hand, mostly. Not the first four bars so much, but after that. So, and it keeps time. I've made it keep time with the upper part, so that makes it easier. So when the upper part plays a note, you play a note. So I'll count three. One, two, three. So you need those, D, E, F sharp, G. You need all those notes. The F sharp and the low D and the E. So it gives you wonderful practice uh, for those notes. Now, I want to look at three blind mice. When we've done the tune, you'll recognize it there on the top. Of the, where the two staves are bracketed together, uh, the tune we've done is on the upper of the two staves. 
So I needn't go through that again. We've done all that. Um, and <clears throat> I've made the left hand as simple as possible and a lot of repetition. So it goes the first two notes, three blind mice, three blind mice at the upper part. So there you've got your G, D, G, and the, the note on mice is a two count note. And see how they run, see how they run. On run, you've got a two count note, and that's G and D again. A wonderful practice of G and D. So here's see how they run. Now, they all, you come in at all, all run after the farmer's wife. So, and she cut off the tails, and we'll finish it off from bar 31. I'll do that bit again from 31 to the end. Three blind mice. Um, what I'll do now, I'll play the upper part uh, and I'll count one, two before I start so you can join in. You know where we're joining in. One, two. that which is simpler than the upper part so I'll count to and off we go with the lower part one two so many dotted notes about and groups of three little notes uh, but don't worry too much about that at the moment we shall I shall discuss that later so long as you know how the tune goes where the notes are and, and know that we're counting two in every bar one two one two so I'm sure you will really enjoy doing those pieces, hope so, and I'll see you soon for the next instalment.